Next we're going to be doing an immobilization for a, a victim who has a suspected spinal injury and we're going to need to, to um, backboard them. So and this will usually take at least uh, one person at the head which I'll call rescuer one and then we'll have a second rescuer, rescuer two at the shoulders and then a third rescuer um, down at the feet. Um, so as I get onto the victim and I do my assessment to determine whether or not um, he needs his uh, spine board. Um, then I'll call my two rescuers out um, with, the, to, with the spine board. Some people might have a symbol for, um, to call the backboard, uh, one, two, or three, maybe another symbol to call EMS. So we have our two rescuers coming out. And they're going to be positioning the um, backboard um, on the back side of the head. Okay. And when I get in this position, I want to make sure when I immobilize them, I'm going to have to turn them. So um, probably the best way to do it is when I turn them, it's going to be like this. So um, I'm going to want to uh, have them in a starting position where I'm supporting both sides of his neck. And um, then I'm going to ask the, the, one of the rescuers to raise while I'm maintaining the mobilization, I'm going to have the rescuer two uh, lift his arm up on his on the back side of his head. If I didn't already do that, okay. And then they're, both rescues, you notice that they have the. Um, if you guys want to take the the head pieces off of the the headboard. Uh, and they also have a cervical collar with them that we'll put on once we turn them. And um, what they're doing is they're, they already undone the, have unbuckled the straps um, so that those are disconnected. And they're also placing the side, edge of the, the backboard uh, right, right on the side of the body, the back side of the body. They've also, as you can see, they have angled the backboard at about a 45 degree angle. Now it's very important that you maintain alignment and you're all doing this in sync uh, when you roll, roll the victim. Uh, again, try to try to move them as a lion. So, rescuer two here at the shoulders, he's going to um, place his hands on the on the shoulders, and the rescuer three is going to um, place his hands on the, the hips. And on the count of three, we're going to turn them onto the backboard towards the backboard. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Okay, let's lower them down. Okay, now normally the victim is not on the backboard um, centered. So what we're going to do is we're going to have rescuer two stand over the victim. And one at, one at, is going to be at the hips, one at the legs. And then go ahead, if you want to put the hands together, that, that's fine. What we're going to do is we're going to slide the victim down on the count of three and then we're going to slide them back up centering them on, onto the backboard okay while I maintain um, head stabilization okay are you both ready? ready? Okay on the count of three one two three okay now on the count of three we're going to look at the board and we're going to center his head on the headpiece and on the backboard ready? One, two, three. Okay, once we have them centered here, uh, we're going to go ahead and put the cervical collar on. And this is an adjustable cervical collar. So what Rescuer 2 is going to do is he's going to measure the distance between the clavicle and the mandible, the jaw see how many fingers he has there and then he's going to put that go ahead and flip it around um, on the side of the cervical collar to determine the, the if he needs to make any adjustments and this one is uh, already adjusted properly and what he's going to do is he's going to slide it under the back of the neck first and then once he has it, I'm going to slowly move my hand 
and still maintain stabilization. Once he has that in place and secure, I'm going to re ma maintain my alignment now that the cervical collar is on. Now I'm going to ask them to go ahead and uh, grab the, head, the two head pieces, rescuer two, and he's going to put one on, one, one on each side of the head. And again, I'm going to move my hand as, as quickly as, as he puts it on. Okay, ready? And with this, he's, with this, he's, um, he's going to push the yellow button what, what, if he needs to adjust it up and down, um, he can do that. Once he has it in place, he's going to push it, push it down. Ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. And once that's connected, um, then we're going to go ahead and connect the straps um, here at the head with the Velcro. We have one that goes across the chin and one that goes across the, the forehead. Okay. Okay. Now again, you're going to do your assessment, see if everything's okay. Um, and then once that's connected, we can go ahead and um, uh, buckle the the strap on the shoulders. Again, the, the straps on this backboard are color coded, so we got a yellow one that go, will go across his uh, chest. Again, you notice that the the hands are are crossed. We uh, we can also tie them. We've got a blue strap at the waist, and then we have a red strap down at the feet. Again, we want to make sure that he's the snug. And another thing, if we want to, we can tuck the um, uh, ends of the straps in if we want to, so that those don't get uh, caught anywhere. Okay, and like I said, if we need to, uh, we can tie the hands um, uh, to help stabilize those if we need to, okay? And then again, go ahead and uh, check to make sure everything's secure before we lift them. And if anything needs to be tight, uh, we want to make sure that we do that at this time before we, we lift the patient. Okay, are we good? Good. Mm -hmm. All right. So again, when we lift them, uh, I, you know, again, want to do this with, you know, even number of people on both sides. Um, you know, ideally four would be good. We can have two at the shoulders and then two at the feet. Um, but if not, we want to make sure that we do this in sync as well. So, um, so again, we're going to bend at our knees. We're going to go, go ahead and go, go ahead and grab, grab the the handles. And on the count of three, we're going to lift. Ready? One, two, three. Lift. Okay, and then if everything's okay, then we can go ahead and uh, walk them off. And that's it for...